Yeah, I'm out here in the garden today and uh, just checking on my squash plants, summer squash plants. And I noticed that it's a little bit, I'll pull this out, a little brown, it's rotting at the end. This is called blossom end rot. Um, it's something that happens to squash and also tomatoes. And what it's showing is, it's not a disease, it's a calcium deficiency. Um, so it's not that hard to fix and I have the right nutrients with me and uh, to fix it. So what I'm going to do is add some more compost. So my azomite rock dust, which is a multi-spectrum, like it's got eight, 80 different minerals, something like that. And then I've got some oyster shell, which is like some long-term uh, calcium source. And then uh, the compost, which, you know, who knows what's in that because it's homemade. Um, <clears throat> so that combination that should knock it out. And, um, you know, after I water it in, Hopefully the plant after a week or two will start producing some squash without this. In the meantime, um, you know, this is still edible, but I'll probably just be fitting these to my chickens and my soldier fly. This is a first year garden bed right here. You know, it's still developing. It's, it's uh, the biodiversity in it and all the nutrients. So I just gotta keep adding more good compost, more good nutrients, and um, this garden's gonna be excellent. Yeah, it's my little compost pile right here. It's got way too many sticks in it, but I don't want to put sticks under the soil just because I don't really want. I want the soil that I'm growing my plants in to be decomposed material. So I've got what eight or so, ten squash plants. This should be pretty good. Next, as a knife. This is azomite, and it's a proprietary rock dust. Um, it comes from a volcanic deposit, I believe, and I just turn it into a powderized form. They can micronize it, powderize it, or granulate it. I have the micronize, so this is the most um, available to the roots. So once I water this in, it's, it's directly available to the roots. If you want a long-term release, then you can get the granulated. Now I'm going to get uh, the oyster shell, which will be my long-term calcium source. So this oyster shell, I'll just do a big one, big handful. That's it. Okay, now I'm going to mix. I'm going to mix thoroughly. That's the oyster shell. The oyster shell will break down a lot more once it's under the soil. So I'm not really counting on the oyster shell really doing much right now, but later on it'll, the, um, the soil organisms will start chipping away at the oyster shell and also the root structure themselves. The, the roots will actually um, secrete a substance that breaks down rock and other mineral sources. Okay, pretty good. Okay, so now it's just take it out there, add it to the soil, on top of the soil, and then I'm gonna water it so that the nutrients will penetrate down into the soil and it will be available for the roots. Okay, so <clears throat> before I add this, uh, I'm just gonna get in here and remove all of my yellow squash that has that blossom end rot because I don't want the plant to put any more energy into this fruit. Um, that way you can focus on creating new flowers and hopefully it'll have enough calcium that it will um, not be an issue anymore. I'll be feeding all these to the chickens. Really only like two plants had it, but I want to add it to everything just to, as a prevention and obviously this bed needs some more uh, minerals. Oh, it's also cool to be able to see. I planted some lettuce underneath all this. I planted it at the same time as the squash, but I recommend planting the lettuce like a week or two weeks before you plant your squash. And that way the, the squash will easily overgrow the lettuce. And then you'll have like a nice small head of lettuce there and it won't bolt. Because out here in San Diego, um, all my lettuce is bol bolted weeks ago. Because it, gets, it can get up into like the 80s in April.
cool. We got a nice looking zucchini squash right here. And uh, a lot of times the first ones that come out will be a little misshapen and stuff, but they're perfectly fine. I've got it spread out pretty good. I'm just gonna get a, a sprayer in here and just kind of wet it down and to help soak those nutrients in. Add only water and in with the micronized formula because that doesn't require any breakdown from the roots. The roots don't have to break it down, but um, micronized, you're good to go. So when you start your beds, it's really great to add the granulated form of azomite or some other rock dust. <laughs> And, and then if you ever need to supplement, the Micronized is really good. It's also really good to use Micronized on, um, when you're starting your seeds with slow blocks or just even in like six cell containers, having that extra nutrient can make a, make a big difference. Okay. And it's late enough in the day that all this water I put on them, the plant will dry off for night. Uh, it'll prevent fungus and other issues. Alright, that's it guys. Hope you have a great day and good luck with your summer crop.